Okay, okay, wait. This is the last time I'm going to talk about it. Everybody already know about it. It's the last time I'm going to mention it. We don't need to be making no more videos on it. There's a lots and lots and lots of articles. Lots of videos, lots of posts. It's the last time I'm going to talk about Saladin. And yes, I did mention the name. I did pronounce it right, right? Let's get into it. As you up, but yup, of course you lie. Sit there and organize. Try to be more than just hoes. Um, thinking you sort of tight. Cause someone wrote you lines. Thinking you whores have got flow. <laughs> no, you can record the lines. Give me Yo, Lockout Man here, sending a super shout out to my girl, Shape World 15. Yes, sir. Thank you for that coffee, that PayPal this morning. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys want to be shout out in the next video, all you got to do is like this video. Like it. Like it. That's all you got to do. And in the comments, hit hashtag shout outs. Yo, what's going on, guys? Lockout man in the truck on the 30 for tonight. Welcome, welcome. This is going to be just a, a quick video. A quick video, you know what I'm saying? Something quick, you know? It was a couple of videos that popped up on my Facebook that I want to that I want to bring to you guys. I want to share it with you as I always do. It was a couple of posts up on Facebook that that I want to share with you as well. You know what I'm saying? But before we get into the topic at hand, because I already told you that I'm not going to talk about it no more. It's going to be the last time I talk about it. I made two videos about it so far, and it's still trending, still trending, because I'm learning more and 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 more, and more, and more on it. You know, like I seen this post in Facebook where a brand new driver was supposed to be coming in for orientation. He went up to the Indianapolis terminal. And unfortunately, he got turned away. He asked why he was getting turned away. Like, uh, I guess he was living up under a rock. He couldn't get a hold of nobody there. You know, nobody wasn't answering no phone calls, no nothing. He left messages, nothing. But he decided to go up to the terminal. Why? I do not know. But he said in his post that, hey, I went up to the terminal to see what's going on. I got stopped by the cops and they turned me away. I said I was here for orientation and um, and the cop said that there's no orientation. So brother man is at the hotel in the Facebook group asking what to do. I'm about to tell you what to do, bro. I'm about to tell you what to do. I hope that you have some money. At, at least that you brought some money with you I know they got you a bus ticket down But now you need a bus ticket back So Here's some advice for some of you New Jacks that's coming into this game Make sure That you have a couple of hundred dollars With you Okay Make sure you have some backup money Because sometimes when you come to these Orientations to these To these trucking companies And you have to go back home for some reason the trucking company is not going to always get you back home, bruh. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, if you're down in Texas and you got to come up to the Northeast, make sure you bring about, make sure you bring about two, three hundred dollars with you. Maybe two at the most. But you got to have some money to get back home. Not being stranded. Get on the phone with some of these trucking companies out here that's, that's, that's uh that's bringing celadon celadon drivers in get on the phone with them and let them know that hey i was a new hire i was in orientation and um i'm i'm stuck here in indianapolis is there a way that you guys can get me to you and get me you know get me on do that but for all you new guys all right i'm telling you make sure that you have some cheese before you go so that you want to get in a situation like that now i don't know if it's for real is it for real or maybe he's just trolling just bullshitting but if it's for real then more power to you bro and if you're just trolling then hey you just you just doing this this like lizzo you want some attention My old 
But look, let me show you this video first. I, I want you guys, I want you guys' opinion on this video right quick. Check this video out. What do you guys think about that right quick? Now, obviously, if the driver wasn't paying attention, he should have known better. <laughs> he should have known better. He should have known better that he knew that he wasn't even going to make that. And now he stopped traffic, of course. Now he got to call his company to let him know that he was on an illegal road in New York. Because I think that's one of them pathways that the truck is not supposed to be on. What do you guys think? He's using his GPS that got him in this situation. Yes. Yes. New driver? Yes. Yes. New driver. New driver. How about how about this video right here? I, I got one. I got another video. I got another video. How about this video right here? How about this one? How the hell did this happen? <laughs> Some of these precarious situations that these drivers get themselves into, man, is just mind blowing. I mean, wow, brother, man, how 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 did you make that happen? <laughs> Guys, leave your comments in the comments below. All right, so. I came across a couple of videos, a uh, couple of couple of articles about Celadon. Yes, I said it right, Celadon. And um, a lot of news outlets is you know reporting the same thing that that the mega carrier shut down. They filed bankruptcy. People in upper management is being uh, indicted. Some could face decades in jail because of the stuff that they've done, but. This is this is what I want to come back. First, I want to shout out to all of the companies that came out and came together to help these drivers out to get their bounce back. All right. As I said before in the previous video, don't feel sorry for us company drivers. Now, I've seen a video where this 50 year old couple are at least purchasing the truck and now they out of the situation i feel sorry for them i feel sorry for you guys that are at least purchasing the truck now unfortunately being that seller down shut down can y'all take the truck back can y'all keep the truck nope no 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 Sometimes new jacks, let me let me give you this word of advice. Make sure if you decide to go on the lease purchase, make sure that company is a stand up company. Now, I'm about to don't don't get mad at me for what I'm about to say. But some of you guys that's coming on uh that's going on TV and crying the blues and everything, I think some of you guys should have seen the writing on the raw I, th I think you should have seen it the writing on the raw maybe six months ago maybe seven months ago eight months ago you should have seen the writing on the wall maybe maybe the writing wasn't in bold print but it was on the wall it was being written come on now, y'all should have known that the carrier was kind of getting rocky. Y'all should have started the plan B. That's what y'all should have been doing, plan B in it. You know what I'm saying? And don't get mad at me. Don't, don't get mad at me, please. Don't get mad at me. But if you guys would have put a plan B together, y'all wouldn't be in the situation now. Okay, don't, don't get mad at me. All right. 
just back back off of me for a minute and 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 listen to what I'm saying. Hear what I'm saying. Just just hear me out. Hear me out. If y'all if y'all seen the writing on the wall, it should have been in bold print. Then y'all would have got y'all would have got yourself in, self together to get prepared to get out of the situation that Saladin put you guys in. All right. So now that now that y'all in the situation, now y'all doing the mad dash and you know, y'all y'all got to get yourself together. Y'all are bounce back though. Y'all drivers, y'all got your CDLs, y'all get back. But what about the lease purchase drivers though? All that money gone. They they paid three, four, five, six, seven hundred dollars a week, and all of it's gone. This fifty-year-old couple right here, and and they said, you know, they they fifty and fifty-three, they got to start all over again to buy another eighty thousand dollar truck or a fifty thousand dollar truck. It's hard. It is. It's hard for them. They don't want to start all over. Suppose they was like close to paying off that truck, and now they can't, they can't do it. They had to give the truck up. I'm just saying. Don't get mad at me, though. Don't get mad at me. I already told y'all in the beginning that this is the last time that I'm going to speak on Celadon. And yes, I am pronouncing it right, right? Celadon, Celadon, C E L A D O N, Celadon. I am pronouncing it right. Yes, sir. But um, for you drivers out here u.s express yes u.s express way to go u.s express they got something for you guys they said that they're hot they're here for you earn an extra twelve thousand in your first year in two minutes or less fifty Five hundred dollars displacement upon hiring, reimbursement of miles not paid up to seven hundred and fifty dollars. Five hundred displacement. Five hundred displacement. Great home for the holidays or great homes. God damn it, man! Guarantee home for the holidays. But why would you want to be home for the holidays? You're already out of a couple of weeks. You need that cheese. Bus ticket to your nearest location tomorrow. And they got your meals. They got your meals. That's a problem. I I I could stop. I got a problem with the bus ticket. Bus ticket. Now some of these drivers that's parking their trucks, they got their whole house in the truck. A lot of that stuff they're going to have to either throw away, give away, donate away because they can't bring it with them on a bus. They can't bring it with them on a, on a plane. Now, Celadon said, yo, we're going to give you a bus ticket back home. Bump that. You put me out on the streets and you're going to give me a bus ticket? Why not give me a plane ride home? That's the least what you can do, right? But. U.S. Express said they'll give you a bus ticket. U.S. Express, let me ask you a question. You a mega carrier. You got all that money. You you got your whole arms out weapon, welcoming these drivers. Give them a plane ticket. Give them a plane ticket. Okay? Plane ticket. Forget a bus ticket. We can't get all our stuff on a bus, let alone a plane. But anyway, these drivers... Plan B. Plan B. If you guys, if you work at any company, and let's see who's next, because it's not going to stop. You had maybe one, two, three, four, five. I, I got so many that I can't count that shut down this year alone. You had New England Freight, Falcon, uh, and a couple of other trucking companies that is in trouble their writings is on a wall so what about get a plan b together if you if you sense if you if you sense sense sits sense sits sense sense 
so, uh, like, yeah. if your if your second mind telling you something that ain't right believe it okay trust me you're gonna you're gonna you you're gonna thank me for it plan b plan b all right fifty dollars personal items replacement for the items you had to leave behind but i need a receipt though okay so how the hell i'm going to give you a receipt us express how am i going to give you a receipt on items that i left behind if i don't have no receipt for it fifty dollars bro i got maybe over two hundred three hundred dollars worth of stuff in here you got your tv your microwave your 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 juice blender your crock pot your whatever you got all that in your truck and you want to and you're going to offer them fifty dollars and you need a receipt, but I guess the thought counts, right? The thought counts. I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Twenty-five dollar store credit to buy clothes upon. What's that say? Hold on. Hold on. Twenty-five store. Twenty-five dollar store credit upon needing needed be i mean needed upon hiring they're going to give you 25 dollars to get some clothes that's not enough to get no clothes hell a t-shirt by itself is like 15 bucks a pair of jeans at walmart is like like 15 bucks so i need more than 25 dollars us express i need more than 25 dollars if you're going to give me some clothes hell give me about give me the fifty dollars at least i can get me a decent t-shirt and a pair of jeans from walmart where's them dollars oh, at? wait son? a minute wait hold on though i need jeans t-shirt underwear maybe a pair of socks so yeah i, I think i'm gonna need a little bit more than 25 dollars where's them dollars at son U.S. Express says a variety of routes, dedicated regional, OTR, and local is available. Limited time only. Call or apply today. Today is the day that you want to apply. Call today. A variety of routes. Let me, let me break that down for you. All right. I haven't been with U.S. Express in about five years, four years, three years. OK, because of my first two, two, two. Yeah. Four, two, three years. I haven't been with them. So it probably might change. But let me tell you something. OTR. It is what it is with OTR. Dedicated. They don't have that much dedicated. All right. They don't have that much dedicated. They got the Walmart dedicated. And the Kroger, they got Walmart, Kroger, and Miger, Miger dedicated, I think. Uh, regional, uh, that's more like OTR, all right? And the only part of regional is they're going to have you in the Northeast, yeah. And uh, and local, I have yet to see local with them. But, but look, they, they, uh, they reached out to the Celadon drivers just like all other companies reached out to the celadon drivers to bring them on but um yeah but let me before i leave okay before i leave my prayers are truly with you drivers all right if y'all at home thank god that you're at home and if you're still stuck i hope you get home to the recruiters the outside i'm not talking about the company recruiters i'm talking about the outside recruiters i'm talking about i'm talking about the outside recruiters not not the recruiters in in these companies i'm talking about like driver re, uh, driver outside recruiters look you over here trying to trying to get these drivers in with the companies that you that that you're recruiting for you know you probably might be recruiting for swift knight uh us express and others yeah you i'm not feeling you 
No. Because I, I can't honestly say that is your heart in the right place? Is your heart for the drivers? Or is your heart for that money? Because for every driver that you get in, you get that good maybe five, six, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred dollar, one thousand dollar uh referral bonus. And being that these Celadon drivers are out and you coming on YouTube, making a YouTube video like, yo, come on to me, give me a call and I can get you, I, I can get you in whatever company, yada, yada, yada. Don't you know how much money that you about to make off of that, uh, make off of these guys? And I know it's a hustle, so I'm not going to knock it. I'm just saying I don't feel you. All right. I, I, me personally, I just don't feel you, but I. I, I respect your hustle game. That's a hell of a hustle. You figure you you figure you about to make some cheese for your holidays so that you can get another uh Airbnb. You know what I'm saying? Your holidays is gonna be the shit. I'm just saying. All right, guys, thank you for joining me on this 30. If you like content like this, don't forget to like subscribe comment share and hit that bell for more content like this lockout man that is me i appreciate all you guys yeah all you guys coming in check out the podcast anchor i mean anchor.com anchor.fm backslash lockout man definitely check me out on the hey check me out on the on youtubes the tubes I am here on the tubes and everywhere else that the podcast can be heard. I am everywhere now. I just got to Actually, I got to I got to upload. I, I think I'm going to upload this. Upload. Yeah, this is going to be uploaded. Yes, yes, yes. All right. To all my Celadon drivers. Yo, my prayers is out with you. Again, yo, you guys have your license. Bounce back. Until next time, everybody. Until next time, I'll get with you in another video. 